Today, we are going to have a conversation with 2020 cornerback commit Jalen Huff. And all that's coming up after the bumper. What do you mean oh. you don't subscribe to my son's YouTube channel? Mama, no! Just snap the damn ball, RJ. What's up, kid folk? It's RJ Young. I am not on a step milk. Consider hitting the like and subscribe button because I upload a video every single day. It's always OU related, college football related, sports related. We have a good time. And today, we are going to have a conversation with 2020 cornerback commit Jalen Huff, who is one of five commits to the 2020 class, two of which are cornerbacks, six foot plus cornerbacks, big, strong, strapping ball hawks. Jalen Huff, one, Darian Green Warren, the other. Both of them have tremendous upside. Jalen Huff was a find out of Buford, Georgia, who has ties to Jaden Hazelwood, who is the latest commit to the 2019 class and he used to get to go up against Jaden Hazelwood as a part of Cam Newton's 7-on-7 seven seven team in Georgia. We talked about what it's like for him to commit to a place so far from home with offers from places like Auburn, Ole Miss, and I'm sure Georgia's just down the line for him and why he decided to commit last November after receiving an offer in May and what kind of a role secondary coach Kerry Cooks played in getting him to Oklahoma. All right, now let's talk to Jalen Huff. All right, Jalen Huff. How you doing, man? I'm good. How about you? I'm good, brother. I um, appreciate you taking the time. I want to ask you a few questions nope. about yourself. Um, just first, yo, man, uh, you had an offer in May of 2018. You pulled the trigger in November. What led you to that decision? Um, Coach Cooks came down to watch me practice uh, spring. And, you know, I talked to him, and then he, that's when he offered me his spring football practice. And so I kind of kept a relationship. You know, we were kind of just talking, small talk. You know, he's a very interesting guy. He knows the game of football. And we just kept small talk going. Uh, eventually, I got up there for a visit. And I loved everything about it, from the environment to the coaching staff to the fans. So, you know, that made, that uh, led me to pull the trigger. And I'm happy. I'm still happy with my decision. <laughs> right. Well, I mean, what was it like being able to watch the program get to the college football playoff and you saw – you know, the way that the defense had been talked about with myself included, how you feel about being able to help out? Uh, that that really, that really, you know, it excites me because, you know, we, we, we're one of the top teams in the NCAA. And, um, you know, everybody wants to win. Oklahoma's winning. And they say a lot about the defense and me being a defensive player. You know, that just lets me know what other teams think about a defense. You know, as a corner, I know they're going to take shots. Uh, downfield, you know, throw the ball a lot, so that just gives me more opportunity to make plays and turn around the Oklahoma defense as well as my fellow um commits. So it's really good for us coming in. You no, know, we we we'll have the opportunity to make plays. All we have to do is season. Right, and I speaking for fans when I say they're very excited about you and Darian Green Warren, who are two not just defensive backs but cornerbacks that are committed to the 2020 class. Not just because you're defensive backs, but because you guys got size. I mean. You're just now becoming a senior because football season has ended, and you are over six feet tall. Darian's over six feet tall. You're big, you're long, you're rangy. And one of the things that I picked up from your huddle film was your ability to be physical at the line, and that's just not something that comes to folks that don't really want to play football hard and nasty. Tell me about getting to learn to be physical as a corner and then being able to make plays on the ball. Uh cornerback you know it's, it's a very uh, uh it's a very complex position at first you know like freshman year you say you might play corner and it might be just off sheer athleticism but as you as you go into a corner you know you press off man you play better receivers you uh, line up against better opponents and you you know he's just athletic as you so you have to have you have to have an extra element to make your game you know elevate your game and that that element should be physicality for most corners. As a wide receiver, you know, I play wide receiver a little bit too. They don't like to get touched off the line. Uh, when you're trying to catch a ball, you don't like to be hit on, get touched, or feel a presence right there. So being physical plays a big role in being a cornerback, in my opinion. It certainly does. And one of the things that I picked up from your film was you're put out on an island by yourself quite a bit. Um, sometimes they'll roll the strong side to you, but most of the time it's – it's you to the field, dog, which means that you have to know your leverages. You have to know where your help is. Sometimes they don't actually give you help. What's going through your mind about what you're looking for when you're talking about footwork and being able to 
make a play on the ball that is not just for a pick, but basically just to get yourself in front of the wide receiver and the football? Uh, that's definitely confidence. So you're out on the island by yourself. You know you have no help. The, line, the wide receiver might line up tight to the line. He might line up outside. You know, as a corner, you can you you can assume you're gonna assume oh it's a slant, it's a fade. But when it all comes down to it, it's a one on one matchup. You have to do whatever, whatever you have to do to not let him catch the ball. Because I feel like this: if he catches the ball, he catches. There's no excuse. But if he doesn't catch the ball, then your your job's completed. So just you just can't let him catch the ball. It's a one on one situation. You got to win the rep every time. It makes a big impact on. So when we're talking about tackling, uh, that's always going to be a point of contention for everybody who talks about defense. What do you think about when you're talking about your fundamentals and just trying to make a good form tackle as opposed to what we call a shoulder charge? Uh, I definitely, uh, I'm not going to lie, I have, I have did some shoulder charges in my season, but uh, I think it's instinct. It's all instinct. Um, an open field tackle, you know, you're taught to form tackle. Um, an open field tackle, I don't, I don't, I don't think many people do a shoulder charge. I know some people who do, but when it all comes down to it, you, you're gonna react to how the person with the ball reacts. So if he makes a cut, you have to, you have to throw it up, body him, or you're gonna get shook, be on his highlight. But if he's getting held up, you know, I think I'm not saying a shoulder charge is the ideal thing to do, but I, I, I do feel like more people do a shoulder charge if it's not in open space. So I don't really know how to explain that, but no, no, you, you know, just, I think you did a good yeah. job. I, I think you you spoke to it. It's instinct. You, you're doing what you think you have to do to get the dude on the ground. And sometimes, you know, we wish the instincts were to wrap up, and other times, you just got to do what you got to do. No, I understand that. Um, I wanted to pivot to just the kind of wide receiver talent that I'm sure you know about, being a Georgia kid that is on campus at Oklahoma, talking about guys like Jaden Hazelwood, who just recently committed to Oklahoma and the kind of talent you're going to go up against and what you think about being able to get challenged by that caliber of wide receiver every day in practice? Uh, yeah, I actually know Jaden Hazelwood. I played, um, we played on the same 707 team, Cam Newton 707. So um, just being being able to go to practice every day and, you know, line up against Jaden, DOE, CD Lamb, uh, not Hollywood because he's leaving, but just to be able to go and, you know, face those guys every day, you know, okay, if I'm not on my game today, I'm going to get embarrassed. I'm going to get beat. So just practicing all all summer, you know, every day with that, and you get into a game, and you're like, oh, this guy's not half a half a Jaden. He's not half a CD. You know, it's, it's a confidence factor, and you feel comfortable, and you start to trust in yourself, your technique, and, you know, that, that leads to big plays. So you, you feel good, you play good. So that, that's how I think about it. Absolutely. Now, you being a Georgia kid, I know that there's been a, quite a few Georgia kids that ended up in Oklahoma, but you are in Georgia's backyard. You're not far from Alabama. You're not far from Auburn. You're not far from Ole Miss. You got offers from most of those places. You know, do you ever wonder, you know, maybe I want to stay closer to home? Uh, it has crossed my mind, but I would say that was before my commitment. Um, yeah, I'm a Georgia kid. I do have family, you know. My family is originally from Athens, which is probably where the University of Georgia is. But um, I feel like wherever I go, I won't get a better feel or better opportunity than at Oklahoma or in the Big 12, period, because the Big 12 is a passing league. I'm a cornerback. Uh, the NFL, I see corners that can uh, cover and tackle. I get opportunities to um, do both of those in the Big 12. And I just I just know Oklahoma is my best interest in their mind with Coach Chip and Coach Cooks, very cool guys, uh, Coach Riley. So I would say Oklahoma definitely trumps trumps the, the stay home card. That's what's up. Well, Jalen Huff, thank you for say, taking the time, man. It's been really cool to, to get to know you and to learn this little bit about you. Can't wait to learn more about you as you get closer to – are you early signing, you think, or are you going to wait till National Signing Day? Uh, I'm going to try to do early time today. Okay. Well, then there you have it. Jalen Huff. All right. That's it for me. Deuces. <laughs>